It's no secret in the world of Nintendo Switch accessories that the Satisfy Grip is probably the most popular Switch grip available. And for good reason. Most other grips, and even the Switch itself, have your hand positioned in a way where your right thumb is naturally positioned higher, so if you're playing a game that heavily involves use of the right thumbstick, such as a first-person shooter, or Fortnite, or Warzone, anything where you're just going to use the right stick a lot, it can lead to strain and cramping. For me, at my ripe old age of 33... Am I 33? How old am I? 32. Oh my gosh. I've lost count at this point. So for me, at my ripe old age of 32, I would get a lot of strain and cramping, particularly in the fatty part under the thumb. Uh, th this fatty part right here, in particular. But then Satisfy came along and they were like, yo, what if we made a wonky looking grip that looked like this and it had the right side be a little offset, so when you put your hands on it, your thumb naturally rests on the thumbstick. Easy peasy. It makes it so much easier and more comfortable to play shooters with this thing. Or any game. Every game is better with this thing. I bought the original Satisfy grip sometime last year like just before Satisfy announced and released the new one, the improved version, for the same price. Still a little salty about that, but hey, at least they improved upon their original model, and even the original model is pretty great. Since I've purchased the Satisfy grip, I have not looked back. I don't play without a grip, and I don't even touch my dusty old grips that I used before. This thing is just more comfortable than any other grip I own. You can even buy bundles that will include the grip, as well as a case that will fit the switch with the grip on it, which is a thick boy, so you're gonna need a bigger case. There's even a chunkier one that has space for like your charger and a wireless charger or whatever. It's called a battery bank, what's it called? And it's a nice little bonus, whichever version you buy is gonna include a couple sets of thumb grips to go on the thumbsticks of the Joy-Cons. Even if you're cheap like me and just buy the grips without a case because that stuff gets expensive. So with the release of Animal Crossing New Horizons just a few days away as of recording this video, we bought my wife a Nintendo Switch Lite so that she could have her own copy of Animal Crossing. And with that, I wanted to get her another Satisfy Grip because of how much I liked mine. So that's when I went onto Amazon and stumbled upon this bad boy, the Unique Asymmetrical Grip from Oivo, which apparently stands for Originality, Ingenuity, Value Overall. And the good thing about this grip is, at least according to the box, it is, in fact, Comfortable. Good to know. Or as the product page on Amazon calls it, Grip case for Nintendo Switch Lite Oivo comfortable and ergonomic asymmetrical hand grip case built in adjustable stand with four game slots for Nintendo Switch Lite parenthesis Lite Rider thumb caps included. So I turned to my wife and said, hey, this thing looks comfortable, it's cheaper than the Satisfy, and I want to make a video on it, so I'm gonna get this one for you. To which she replied, sure, whatever. And here we are. For about half the price and basically all of the functionality of a Satisfy Grip with some extra features, which I'll get into in a moment, how does it compare? Well, that's what I'm gonna get into, so just keep watching the video. Now just a word of warning, I only have the regular size Satisfy Grip for the classic Nintendo Switch, not for the light. So I'm gonna be comparing this thing for the light to the regular sized Nintendo Switch Satisfy Grip. I can't imagine it's really going to be any different other than, like, the fact that this one's slightly smaller. I, I, I imagine it's probably still a pretty fair comparison, despite them being for two different size Switch models. Personally, for me, using the Switch Lite without any kind of grip has been way more comfortable than using the regular Switch without any grip, but I figure why not invest a few bucks into a nice, comfortable grip so that you kind of prevent any strain issues and you kind of protect your Switch a little bit more. I figure it's worth a couple bucks to spend at least a little bit on something that's going to make your experience more comfortable. Taking a look at the back of these, you can see differences in design as far as the curvature of the grippy parts. Don't look at this part just yet, we're gonna get into that. Where Satisfy is just sort of a rounded chunk that just stops right here and then is just flat from there. The Oivo is just smooth and rounded and continuous in shape, all kind of feeling kind of like a PS4 controller. Aside from that, your thumb falls where it should and where it would if you were using at least the normal size Satisfy grip for the Nintendo Switch, so again I imagine the light version is gonna be a pretty similar experience. And it just, it just feels nice. Even before knowing that the Oivo grip existed, for a little while recently I started to notice a little bit more strain while using the Satisfy grip. Even though I've had it for months, if not maybe almost a year now, I just started to notice that it was a little too chunky, a little bit too big in my hands. Not quite Xbox Duke controller levels, but after a while, it does just feel like you're squeezing on to this big, large grip. Now, that is going to vary by hand size. My hands are sort of medium-sized, so they're, they're, they're chunky, 
but they're not like super long, they're just also not tiny short little hands. If you look at the Oivo next to the Satisfy, you can see the Oivo has a curve that droops down at a lower point which to me feels more natural for the placement of your fingers. So your fingers kind of fall into place more rather than sticking out a little bit more and squeezing and gripping onto a larger grip. Now as for those added features that I mentioned, you may notice that there is this little trapdoor looking doodad on the Oivo. That makes it so while you're playing it just sort of holds the switch into place on the grip so if for some reason you decide to hold the grip upside down and shake it around a little bit, you're not going to risk any kind of accidents of the switch falling out, which would be ultimately disastrous and a very terrible thing. Now on the flip side, see, because you, you flip it over, so you, you flip this thing over and it actually acts as a kickstand for your switch light. The Satisfy has these little legs in the bottom that make it so you can just stand the switch up if you want to, the downside being that it only sits completely vertically. So if you want to use the switch in tabletop mode, you're better off just taking it out of the grip and using the switch's built-in kickstand. But if you're using a switch light which doesn't have a built-in kickstand, then you either have to use like a just a third accessory that you have to buy to use it like a kickstand. Now I know most people probably aren't going to be using the switch light in tabletop mode, but if you ever want to, you want options, it's nice to have options, you don't have that option with the satisfied grip. But the Oivo has a nice kickstand, so if you ever want to just put it on a table and sit it in tabletop mode for whatever reason, you have that option and you can just angle it to point it up at your face and it works just fine. One added feature that the Oivo has that the Satisfy Grip does not have is these four additional little slots to put game cartridges. As seen here in my very scientific testing, the cartridges stay in place nicely, but they're also easy to take out whenever you're ready to swap. I personally am always paranoid with having loose games just exposed like that, but if you're okay with it, you can at least take comfort in knowing that your precious $60 Nintendo games are going to stay in place and not fall out if you turn the thing upside down. And much like the Satisfy Grip, these do come with two pairs of rubber thumb grips. Ironically, I haven't actually tested these out because both mine and my wife's Switch have the grips that came with my Satisfy Grip. I haven't really needed to take them off and use these, but just to let you know, they're included in the box. Now as far as downsides go, I'd say there's a couple of minor ones, and then one potentially, possibly major, sort of possible deal breaker one. A minor complaint is that you can't really fit this grip with the Switch in a normal Switch case, so if you ever wanted to take this on the go and wanted to keep them together, there might be some other thicker cases available that work similar to the Satisfy grip so you have the space. Maybe there are, I just haven't checked, so you can check that out if that's something that you're concerned about. What, am I supposed to do all the work for you? And now another one, which I guess is also kind of a deal breaker for some of you, they don't make this thing, as far as I can find, for the regular classic Nintendo Switch. I looked on their Amazon page, I looked on their website, and as far as I could find, they only make one for the Switch Lite. Heck, their website didn't even have a page about this thing. At least as far as I can tell, because their website looked like this. Now this last complaint I have is maybe potentially a bigger complaint than if you don't have the right Switch for this thing. You see, the Satisfy Grip has these little rubber... I don't even know what to call them. Nubs? It has these little rubber nubs that help, one, snugly keep the switch in place, and two, also protect the switch from scratching when you take it in and out of the grip. Now they discontinued this version and now only have the newer model which has more nubs on the sides as well as some on the back. The reason being is because people were complaining about the fact that this grip was actually damaging their Joy-Cons by scratching them. Mine has actually been pretty fine, I don't... Son of a gun. There are scratches on my Joy-Con. Like, not even joking. Well, that just Now I'm just upset. I personally knew of this when I bought the Satisfy Grip, but it was the only one available at the time, which is why I'm so upset that the new one came out afterwards. And now looking at my Joy-Con, I can see that there's uh, there's scuffs on it. Now the Oivo actually has two nubs on each side, and while they seem to be a little bit smaller than the ones that come with the Satisfy, they at least have them. The only problem is, the ones in the back, there are none. <laughs> and so what that causes is some rubbing. Now hang on. <laughs> Now with the Switch Lite, it is a matte plastic, and like most matte plastic electronics, like controllers and computer mice, there is a slight texture to it. It's just tiny little microscopic bumps that you can feel with your fingertips to give it a little bit of texture, so that when you're holding onto it, it doesn't just slip out of your hand like something a lot smoother, like a thousand dollar smartphone. The problem is, when you get the Switch Lite and you want to put it into the Oivo grip, I'm just going to put this closer to the microphone so you can hear. Oh, uh, you hear that? That's no good. Let's just take it out and hear it again. That is the sound of the back of the switch rubbing up against the plastic of the Oivo. Now this isn't going to cause like major damage, but I can already see, looking at the back of this thing, that there's not damage per se, but there are black marks here and here, which actually seems to be from the little trap door hinge moving around when you when you move this thing. And then up here by the corners, 
under the little triggers, and then even on top where the little trap door closes. Now luckily, as far as I've seen, these just rub off. You just get like a little bit of a, like a damp towel, just like very carefully and you rub it off, or even with my fingertips right now, and it comes off. So there's at least that, but it's it makes me nervous. It makes me nervous because I don't like the idea of a $200 precious little beautiful yellow switch light taking on any discoloration from a hard plastic piece of plastic. That's not to say that the Satisfy Grip won't do this too, but at least the new Satisfy Grips have the rubber on the back. Now the bright side to that is that the Satisfy Grips are a little bit more snug, especially the newer ones I imagine because they have more of the rubber nubs on the inside. Fortunately the Oivo Grip is a bit looser than the Satisfy Grip, so at least when you put these together, it's not like they're grinding up against each other like they're at prom, but the rubbing sound is apparent. Now in any purchasing decision, it's ultimately up to you. I wanted to make this video to tell you that this thing exists, and if you have a Switch Lite, it might be an option for you to consider. Do you want to save a few bucks and go with the Oivo, which in my opinion is probably the superior of the two grips, mainly because of the kickstand design and the fact that ultimately when you buy one of these, it comes down to comfort, and I think this is more comfortable than the Satisfy. Or do you want to invest a few bucks more and go with the Satisfy, which is a more trusted brand, it has more color options, more size options, bundles, it has the rubber nubs which will protect your hardware a little bit more than this thing does, and I, at least I imagine that if anything goes wrong they probably have better customer service than Oivo. Whatever your decision, I'm going to leave affiliate links in the description so if my video helped you decide to buy one or the other, you've got some options down there and it'll help fund the channel a little bit so I can do more videos like this in the future. Either way, thanks for watching and let me know what you think of this video by leaving a like or a dislike and or a comment. That would be greatly appreciated. Which grip would you prefer based off of what I said? Does the potential scuffing or scratching from the Oivo case turn you off to it altogether? Let me know in the comments, I would really like to know. I'm gonna go now, I've been filming this thing for a freaking hour, it took long, I even scripted it, and I just, I, I just keep getting, keep messing up my lines, and it's taking so long, I got things to do today. That's not true, I don't have anything to do today.